chain requested one more song so let's look at that one uh earth c i think e r y t h so this is from dinner blade two one so i think arith c maybe So this is two hon choshi. It's okay. This is a good melody. Accidentals there that makes it hard. It's okay, it's durable, but maybe again, not like a distinctive melody. It's kind of, I mean, if I listen to it over and over again, I probably find the good, you know, melody from here, there, and then, you know. But it doesn't strike me as a super schnubue ready song. Sorry. All right. So last one. I hope it's better. 
because I hate to be like, no, this is not good. All right, so let the net last one is left theory and archipelago night. Hello, let's see. So, so far, kind of like accompaniment. Like that, ta -ra 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 -ra, ta -ra -ra -ra. again, like if I try to do that with Shinobue, it's kind of um, becomes kind of like a practice song or something. So you don't want it's not the melody is not like very interesting this is a this is a melody yes that's a good melody That's an accidental right there. It, it, it kind of get got into different key. That's accidental. Yeah, that's accidental too. So that, this might be tricky. I'm not used to playing this. It's kind of complicated <laughs> and we need more like simple melody not you know so uh shinobu is like you can do this if you practice a lot but shinobu like i would Usually, Shinobe, I want to kind of do something that's like, this is, this is, uh, this instrument was created to play like folk songs of Japan, like folk songs. What are folk songs? So folk songs are songs that were born in original like area, certain area, like folk songs are born of the community. So nobody wrote it down and stuff, you know, it just born out of a community, a region, 
and like Japanese culture has a lot of regional folk songs, a lot of lullabies, like lullabies of Tokyo area. So nobody kind of wrote it down, but people, it's just word of mouth, like people just kept on singing it. So when you have folk songs, it's really simple because you have to kind of pass it on by, you know, word of mouth. Somebody sings it and somebody imitates it and then somebody else imitates that. And so it needs to be, if it's super complicated, then it won't carry on. Lullabies or folk songs are super um, simple. So this Shinobue came out of um, that kind of culture. The interesting thing about Shinobue is Shinobue doesn't have a standard repertoire. For example, like piano has standard repertoire that's written in the sheet music, like, you know. You know, it's, it's complicated. You know, so that that type of thing is complicated. It's, you know, Beethoven wrote it down and then passed it on. And then somebody else uh, saw the sheet music and then say, Ooh, I can play this because I have sheet music. I don't have to listen from somebody, you know, but like folk songs, it came out of just hearing. So it has to be, if it's like super complicated, no one can just memorize it and pass it on. Um, so folk songs are simple and Shinobue doesn't have a history of repertoire like piano, Chopin, Beethoven, those people wrote, you know, composed pieces for, sh or, or pi for piano, but Shinobue doesn't have that kind of history because it was passed on by word of mouth within the community. They taught certain songs like pieces and it could get complicated, but usually it has like simple stuff that people can pass it on. And so that is like the history. So the mechanism of the Shinobu is very simple because we just used it for simple tunes. So like this one we just heard has a flute, like Western flute. So Western flute has super, uh, he has a really good amount of repertoire, standard repertoire for flute. They have a bunch of, you know, sheet music. So you don't have to, it doesn't have to be easy so you can pass it on like without looking at the music. So in that kind of environment, the instrument evolves because sheet music acquire, uh, requires to, for people to do hard stuff because you can actually write down hard stuff and pass it on and people can look at it and learn it. But this doesn't have that kind of history. So it's a very primitive instrument still. It doesn't like flute has like keys and, you know, mouth hole is not simple like this. It's got like this piece that's like sticking out and stuff. So it's a lot evolved. So you can do a lot of complicated stuff. So to do what flute can do pretty easily, this is extremely hard because, for example, piano has all those, all these keys. You know, if eight hon choshi, I have, let's see, what is eight hon choshi? So for eight hon choshi, I have just C scale. I can't really do anything in between, like. But piano can very easily because there's a key for that. 
I don't. I have to do like this half thing. I'm doing half. I'm covering half to do that note. Very hard to do because it's like so, you know, subtle. You know, like if it's a hole, then I can just, yes, you know, hole, seal the hole. And it's very, you know, secure. I can do that all the time. Most of the time. <laughs> so, but like half stuff, that's like risky. You know, is it half a quarter or like, you know, because there's no like line or anything. So, piano has that between and, you know, this is Rion 1. This is Rion 2. That's, but piano has, and then, so piano has, so from here to there, I have, piano has, lot more notes ready you know lots of stuff within this one octave i got only seven that's why it's so hard to play a tune that has complicated stuff like this flute can do a lot more because flute is like piano it has lots of keys all those in between keys ready to go this doesn't so you know when you uh, are picking a song we need a clear melody that is not too complicated it doesn't have those in between notes those are called accidentals you know we talk about accident or i talked about accidentals last time last uh video that i did um so that's what i mean by um those in between notes of the accidentals so this doesn't have that ready you know because it's a simple primitive instrument so we want to have a simple song so a lot of times usually um songs that singer sings doesn't have too many accidentals because it's harder to hit accidental notes for human too you know i could just push accidental and just readily get it but to get the pitch for human being to get uh, the kind of awkward accidental right when you're singing it's harder so we to make the song natural for singers usually songs that human beings sing sings do not have a lot of ton of accidental because if it does it's just hard to sing hard to hear it because we're not used to that kind of like for singing so that's another reason why the songs that a human being is singing is usually better for shinobue another reason why is shinobue you have to put the breath into it And you eventually you're gonna run out of air but like when you are playing the piano I can go on and on because I don't I'm, I don't have to take a breath same as violin right so when you the violin is playing a melody or piano is playing a melody they can just go on and on and on but we have to take a breath so a lot of times like when we play a melody that piano is singing or playing or a violin is playing without any breath we'll be like mm -hmm. you're like running out of breath 
So that's another reason why singers, because they have to take a breath too, the phrase is written nicely for normal lung capacity. So that's another reason why that we like to kind of look at songs. You know, I have covered uh, music that's not human being song, like um, Final Fantasy main theme, like, you know. So, but that has, that has a very distinctive melody you know theme theme song usually theme song has a melody even no human is singing so that's another good one now uh satoru marsh that nobody is singing except dun, 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 like children's choir or something <laughs> sounds like but that has a really great melody however that was extremely hard to play because that is like violin. They went on and on. I was like, oh my, I was like, I don't know if I can actually play that piece live because the, the phrases are so long. Yeah, so that was that's not very conducive of Shinobue. I pulled it off because I love the piece, but it's not very conducive. Now, like, you know, Xenoblade 3, A Life Sent On was actually written for Shinobue, so it's hard because professional person played it. You know, so for me to play it, it's extremely hard. I'm still, you know, working on Noah stuff, but you know, it's playable because it was written for this. So to find a piece it for Shinobue, maybe, you know, singing, a person singing might be a good start. If it's like super instrumental and orchestra, big orchestra, maybe not for this. All right, so. Sorry, Shane. Those are beautiful songs, though. Thank you so much for watching. For part three, we will have a Ghibli song as well as a video game song. See you then.